JFK stood on the steps of the U.S. Capitol building and gave his inauguration speech, millions of voters across the nation were excited for his victory in the elections. One of the big reasons Kennedy had such a strong place in the hearts of Americans was his look. He was a clean-shaven, well-dressed, and clearly affluent individual. His 1961 inauguration suit, a black, notched lapel piece, was a stylistic hallmark for the year. It was accompanied by a silver grid pattern tie and gray vest. It was the perfect image of class and fit the Kennedy name perfectly. I would argue the one political figure spoken of more than Kennedy when it comes to dress wear, however, is First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy. She was a fashion icon well before her marriage to the politician, hailing from the wealthy family of John Bouvier III. Bouvier was a highly regarded stockbroker who made his fortune in the loud halls of Wall Street. Being born into wealth and fame, Jacqueline Kennedy had all the tools at her disposal to visually express her socialite nature via fashion. Over the years, she became a social icon in the world of design and started many of the fashion trends we still see until today. Pieces like the famous pillbox hat, silk scarves, and wide lapel jackets owe their fame partly to her position in society. And she's one of the best known examples of the trickle down effect taking shape. For her marriage to the future president in 1953, Jacqueline Kennedy was awarded the role of U.S. Vogue's junior editor for 12 months, which seems rather fitting. Of course, we can't start a Jacqueline Kennedy video without talking about the famous pillbox hats that she made a trend. The vintage, airline-style pillbox hat swiftly became a trend following Kennedy's inauguration, after his wife began to wear it quite frequently during public events. The famous fashion designer Halston, who first became famous for his hat designs, was the one who designed her hats for her, and they were reflective of his minimalistic yet refined style, with simple, monocolor curves around each edge. The pillbox remains a popular style amongst modern society's elitist classes, with large names such as Kate Middleton often seen sporting one. Another popular trend she set during her period in the White House was the pairing of bright, A-line dresses with simplistic, boxy trapeze coats. Kennedy was often seen wearing brightly colored and flashy dresses with multiple visual elements to them. They were very reminiscent of the experimental yet refined style of 1960s wealth, and they could range from simple and elegant pieces to highly detailed and aristocratic ones, depending on the event. Another element of these dresses that Kennedy popularized was their A-line shape, which splits the piece between the waistline. She paired these dresses with trapeze swinger coats, which were many times made of wooly materials. Solid colors were also a main hallmark of her clothing choices. Kennedy was not often seen wearing printed pieces, but instead donned herself with light, natural pastel colors. Ivory, salmon, pale yellow, and light blue were some of her go-to choices. And even though these colors are minimalistic in style, they hold an air of elegance many other styles do not. Kennedy popularized the cold shoulder dress as well, which we see being worn very often today. In fact, her famously iconic wedding dress was of this style. This dress cut alongside elbow-length white gloves gave rise to the popular opera style we see amongst society's patrician classes today. Going back to simplism, however, Kennedy was not the type to wear excessive and flashy jewelry. In fact, she was more well known for her simplistic accessory choices and low-rise heels. Minimalism was a clear and central part of Jacqueline Kennedy's fashion trends. The solid colors and almost futuristic straight line clothes are part of what we nowadays recognize as vintage luxury, and it's partly thanks to her. As the years continued and the U.S. entered a new era, the 1970s, Kennedy's style shifted to a much more decade-inspired look. Her newer style combined the elegance of years prior with the casual nature of the new age. One of the most iconic elements from this era was her oversized black sunglasses and wide lapel jackets which were very 1970s style. She often wore long trench coats, silk scarves, and glamorous layered combinations. The simplistic and box-like nature of the 1960s postmodern fashion were gone in favor of the experimental yet old age class of the 1970s, and this further set many stylistic trends we see up until the modern day. Unfortunately, Kennedy would pass away on May 9, 1994. 
after a long battle with cancer. Even following her death, however, her legacy as a visual icon for over four decades lives on, as we find ourselves basing our modern looks and styles off of the many influential pieces she once wore. If I'm dreaming, please don't